Welcome to Karen's 10th annual holiday cookie exchange. And since this is my 10th year of hosting this event, I thought I would do it up big with the theme, The Real Housewives of Orlando. You're about to meet 25 of Orlando's hottest housewives who can not only heat up the kitchen with their amazing baking skills, but they really sizzle on the red carpet. So here we go. Let me introduce you to 25 of the smartest, most talented, beautiful women, my dear friends, the real housewives of Orlando. Joining me now is one of my dearest and oldest friends, and I'm not talking about age, I'm talking about longevity. Kelly, Henley, Kelly, come on. I've known Kelly forever. I mean, we met when our babies were babies, they right? Were babies, yes. Kelly is my fun, crazy friend by night, but by day, she's like super professional. She is Florida Marketing Director of Ashton Woods Homes. I'm really proud of her, but you never know the way she cuts up at night, and I mean that in a good way. I don't know what you're talking about. She doesn't. Your boss isn't watching. It's okay. <laughs> you never know where it's going to show up. <laughs> All right, so Kelly, Kelly gets a free pass tonight. She's the only girlfriend of mine that got a free pass on baking the cookies. And I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> because you still love me. 10 years ago, Kelly attempted to bake, and she brought a whiskey cake. It was the nastiest bunt cake, soaked <laughs> in some awful southern comfort. It smelled, and we had to throw it out. I thought it was a rum cake. Was it, was it, was it whiskey? Oh, no, wait. The first year was a shortbread that oh. we could have thrown and hurt somebody with. <laughs> I'm sorry. The first year was a shortbread brought in the original pan that was baked in. It was so... Because I couldn't get it out. It was so <laughs> dry and hard. She brought it in the pan. So Kelly gets a free pass. I don't bake. <laughs> but she is the life of the party. She's always the life of the party. And I'm really lucky to count her as one of my close friends. Normally, she plays bartender. But tonight, I actually hired one. So you're off duty. Sweet. <laughs> so, Kelly, what would you say a real housewife of Orlando is? <laughs> Compared to me or <laughs> the rest of you? <laughs> What's your version? My version is... That my kids are happy, healthy, and safe. And mama brings home the bacon. <laughs> and fries it up in a pan. I just can't bake. And Angela Lee. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. Next, we have my dear friend, Angela Bell Deems. We met on a job several years ago, and she's become one of my closest friends, my hot, sexy redhead. So, Angela, tell us what you brought tonight. I brought some peanut butter cookies with Reese's Cups melted in the center. They're so good, and I'm excited. This is my first cookie party. I've never been to one before, and I get to go to Karen's big 10th anniversary cookie party. I'm so excited. Love the stockings, Angela. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so Angela, what would your Real Housewives of Orlando tagline be? Oh, no. Um, I don't know. I don't What's know. your motto? Come on. What is my motto? Uh -huh. Well, I'm the redhead. I'm the redhead.com. Hello. <laughs> she is the redhead.com. Check her out. Thank you, Angela, for coming. Thank you. I'll see you. I'll see you inside. I'm excited. Joining us now is Megan McCloskey and Lisa Janowitz. Lisa actually joins us from abroad. She moved off a little while ago, but she's really a homegirl at heart. Lisa, where are you now? I'm in Williamsburg, Virginia. And she came to the Cookie Exchange tonight. And Megan? Born and raised in Lake Mary. So great to have you. Megan is one of my dear friends. We've known each other forever, and she's known for her sarcastic, Sorry. witty humor. 10th year anniversary of our cookie exchange. Yeah. This year she baked. Last year she cheated, and she brought candy from Ross. Last year I had a sinus infection, and I had two rounds of antibiotics, and I put that on the recipe. All right, so ladies, here's the big <laughs> question tonight. What is your motto when it comes to being a real housewife of Orlando? A real housewife of Orlando or Lake Mary, because we're better than Orlando. Oh, right. It would Suburbs be rock. Degrees and divas. Degrees and divas. I like that. How about you, Lisa? I just want to be back in Orlando. <laughs> Come on over, girl. All right, girls, have a great time. I'll you see you too. soon. Thank you. Okay. Hi. It's Tammy Lee joining us now. Do you know what? She's like my Nelly Furtado lookalike friend. She's always fun, has a great heart, really down to earth. Thank, Thank you, you. Thank you, Karen. So what'd you bring tonight? Some oatmeal raisin cookies. Ooh, Tammy baked oatmeal raisin cookies. Thank I you, did. Tammy. So Tammy, here's the question tonight. What would you call a real housewife of Orlando? Well, we're actually housewives of Lake Mary. That's true. So we are better than Orlando. And I say we're a little sassy. 
We are a little sassy, yes. aren't we? And as you can tell, we're a little provincial about where we live, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, you look amazing. You. She's so beautiful. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Have fun. Thanks. I'll see you soon. Love her. So coming up next, we have two of my hottest friends, Jen Wong and Julie Blevins. Julie is a world traveler. She works for a technology company, and we can never pin her down to have fun, so I'm so glad you're here tonight. And Jen is one of my dearest friends. She's like my sister. I'm not kidding you. She is my extended family here in Orlando. We've been friends forever. So Jen, what did you bring tonight? I brought an old-fashioned recipe of thumbprint cookies. Jen is very talented. She's really like a domestic diva, and every year she helps me pull this together, so I really owe so much to her. And Julie, what did you bring tonight? I brought buttered popcorn cookies. Butter popcorn cookies. That is really good. Last year, I think Julie brought chocolate chip. Kevin and Janice's chocolate chip cookies. Mm -hmm. So she's stepping it up this year, get a little edgy. All right, so here's my question to you girls. What would be your motto? I mean, let's think about like the real housewives of Orlando. So how would you define us? How would I what? <laughs> define us, like what's your motto? What's your motto? <laughs> um, enjoy life. Enjoy life, that's a good one. And how about you, Jen? <laughs> that's hard because I'm not quite the typical housewife with four kids. I'm more of a boring housewife. She has four kids. But and we get to get out tonight, so fun, good times. She has four kids and she always looks hot. She totally rocks. All right, ladies, thanks for joining us. We'll see you at the party. Come on in. All right, so joining me now is Kim Sessa. Come on, Kim. I love this girl. She is so much fun. She's always up for fun. We do our girl lunches and our happy hours. <laughs> Having a great time. She, shopping, always, shopping, shopping. she always looks like this, like a Barbie doll. It's amazing. So, Kim, what did you bring to nice the party? To see you. Holiday jingles. Little Kris Kringles. Um, they're little um, green hollies. Green hollies, and they're so cute. I love the packages. Yes, here they are. All right, so Kim, what is your idea of a real housewife of Orlando? Like, what's your motto? Well, I like to have our girls' lunches, a little tennis in the morning. Um, what else do we do? I don't know. It's like more living the glamorous life. You're killing she me. sounds you like a Stepford so wife, doesn't she? You are so funny. Okay, bye-bye. Ta-ta. Bye-bye. See you at the party. All right, so joining me now is Jen Maserato, and I love this girl. She is my home girl. Jen is from Louisiana as well, and I'm going to tell you, it's so nice to have one of my home girls right around the corner. Thanks for coming. So glad to be here. I know you are. So, Jen, they do it differently in Orlando, don't you think, than in Louisiana, yes, right? Like, do. like, what would a cook exchange be like in Louisiana? Um, it would involve some um, aluminum foil that they just pulled off the window and maybe a little bit of raw cookie dough dipped in peanut butter. <laughs> oh my gosh, what does that say about where we came from? Um, it says a lot. But now we're in Orlando, and Jen, what did you... more fun? It does. Love it. So Jen, we've come a long way from... We've come a long way from uh, Louisiana. Yes, so what did you bring tonight? Um, I brought these cookies that are not one not one minute of baking. Let's see them. They're assembled. Well, assembled cookies. <gasps> you cheated. I did. She cheated. This is the second batch of cookies I've made because the first ones didn't work out. And she fessed up on camera. That's okay. I got to give her a free pass. All right. So Jen, what would you say is um, your motto in life? And how would you describe mm, Real Housewife of Orlando since we've been here for a while now? Um, Say how you feel because the people that love you won't care. True. And the people that do care, you don't need them. Amen, sister. It goes something like that. I don't remember. I like that. Okay. That's really thought provoking. All right. She's such a smart cookie, too. Yes, do you know that she's a dietitian in her real life? She bosses people around, tells them what they should and shouldn't eat. No cookies, blah, blah, blah. Cookies, bad, bad, bad. Right? right, that's exactly what I do. But tonight we're going to eat cookies. And drink lots of wine. That's right. right. Bad for the diet, good for the body. And so, all right, I'll see you inside. All right. Love you. Joining me now is my dear friend, April Orlando, and I'm so glad to have her at the party. April and I met a few months back through mutual friends and just really hit it off. And she's a professional. She's a smart cookie. She's not only beautiful, but she's really got it together. April, thanks for coming. Thank you. 
So what did you bring tonight? Actually, I brought um, nutty chocolate sugar cookies. Nutty chocolate sugar cookies in this really cute box? Yes, yes, a whole bunch of them. So April, is this your first cookie exchange or maybe it the is. first of it? Yes, yeah. it is. So looking forward to it. Never thought cookies could be this glamorous, did you? Oh my gosh, no, not at all. <laughs> so April, what is your take on a real housewife of Orlando? Uh, sexy, beautiful, really smart woman. I second you on the smart woman part. Totally. Of course, takes care of her family, too. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. But we are a smart and talented bunch, and she is definitely one of the tops. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. All right, so I'll see you in the party, right. okay? Absolutely. All right, bye. So joining me now is Angela Van Gelder, and she is such a smart cookie. Angela, come on in. <laughs> Angela is such a doll, and she's a real professional. She is the director of special events at the Orlando Science Center. So all those fabulous parties and fundraisers. Thanks, Angela. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. So Angela, what did you bring tonight to the cookie exchange? I brought something called Cinna Rookies, which is a cinnamon roll cookie that has an icing made with espresso. <gasps> ah, she knows I love coffee, right? Right? Who, who doesn't? Oh, who doesn't? That's <laughs> awesome, and it's so original. I'm so excited. Thank you. So Angela, since you hobnob with all the like fabulous people in the in the Orlando metro area as part of your job, what would you say a real housewife of Orlando is? A real housewife of Orlando has to be a strong woman. Um, she has to know good friends um, and count on them when they need them, when you need them and they need you. And remember to laugh at everything. <laughs> Which we do. We have a lot of good times, don't we? We do. <laughs> a lot of fun memories. Angela, I'm so glad to know you, and I'm so happy to count you as one of my dear friends. And oh. thank you for coming tonight. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'll see you inside. Okay, thank okay. you. So, joining me now is Melissa Piatic, and I'm so excited to know her. She lives in my neighborhood, and we actually work in the same industry. So, it Thanks was. Thanks for having me. I'm so glad you're here. Happy to be here. You look really hot, Melissa. And since we're neighbors, we'll see a lot of each other, right? I hope so. Melissa has this amazing dog that she walks around, and so I told her, every time you're walking around, pop in for a glass of wine. I'm going to next time. Maybe a vodka and cranberry. Vodka and cranberry. So what'd you bring tonight, Melissa? Well, tonight I had to cheat a little bit, so I went out and bought my cookies. Ooh, shh. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Melissa! <laughs> Our secret. Well, I didn't have enough time. I thought I had to work. And it, so I in all fairness, she really only got, she was, she got last minute notice. So we're going to give Melissa a free pass on her. Thank you. Store-bought cookies. So, Melissa, what is your creed in life? Like, what would you say a real housewife of Orlando is? Uh, well, a real housewife of Orlando would be a girl who gets up every morning, walks her dog, makes her husband coffee, works out, and then cleans her house. Oh, my gosh, your husband is going to love that answer. <laughs> Thank you, Melissa. Thanks for joining us. I'll Thank see you, you in the party. Thanks for having me. Okay. So joining me now is Teresa Brown, and I'm so excited because she lives in my neighborhood, and we, we met a few months back, and she's become a really great friend. Hi, Hi Teresa. Thank, thank you for inviting me tonight. You this look awesome. You look beautiful. Well, thank you. You look fabulous. Oh, my God. So oh Teresa God. is a professional professional, and she counsels family. I try. I try. Mostly couples. I try. You know, we'll, we'll see at the end. She's good out. to know. She counsels couples. <laughs> So Teresa, what did you bring tonight? Okay, I brought uh, the basic chocolate chip cookie with a with a twist. With a twist? Do you want to tell us what the twist is? Love. Love. I would say. Sorry, I'm coming cheesy. from a lady who counsels couples. <laughs> so appropriate. And this is and a little something for you and the cookies. And um, this is my first cookie exchange, so. You know, this is this is like a virgin night for me. So Teresa should be used to the camera because her husband is Don Brown and he anchors Fox Morning, right? Yes, he does. He's been out for two weeks and I've been babying him. So, but yeah, I'm. All right, so Teresa, here's your question of the night. <laughs> what would you call a real housewife of Orlando? Like, what's your motto? Motto, real high. So, oh my gosh. What's your creed? Well, what's your spot, creed? I'm Tell me your spot. creed. Okay, my my creed, real high, housewife of Orlando. Oh, the pressure. Um, you know what? Just the, it's all about being casual, having fun, um, sunshine, the beach. Um, we're different. You know, everyone. Orlando and Florida and the South is different it than is. the North. 
it, it is just a more laid back area and it's just, you know we, we just are set aside of our own it's a good place to be and I'm so glad you joined us from the north thank, thank you, you Teresa. So okay I'll thank see you at the you. park okay thank Bye. you Bye. All right, so joining me now is Pam Roll, and she's my neighbor right across the street, and I'm so lucky because she is so much fun to hang out with, and we're really like kindred spirits. Thank you, Pam. You're welcome. <laughs> Pam is a little camera shy. She's not really I'm thrilled not about being on camera. camera. No, I don't but like being here. on camera. <laughs> so tell us what you brought tonight, Pam. Crispy peanut butter balls. Okay, and Pam <laughs> can't no bake. No bake. <laughs> Because I don't bake. This is a big deal for Pam to be on camera, so thank you very much. And to bake. And to bake. And to bake. I cook, but not bake. Do you still love me, Pam? I do. <laughs> so, Pam, here's my question to you. What's your creed in life? Especially when you think about, like, a real housewife of her life. Now is my friend Carol Logan. Carol, come on in. And she looks so glamorous tonight. Carol is a doctor. Carol, tonight you look very different from your work clothes. Thank you. You told me to. <laughs> I made her dress up to walk the red carpet. Yes. Carol, was something up. Carol is an eye doctor, and she's also a dear friend, and she's a lot of fun. So, Carol, what did you bring tonight? Cookies. Okay, you got to elaborate a little more than that. Lavender sugar cookies. Yay, my Carol. own recipe. I made them. You did. I love you. See, Carol was super prepared because last Sunday, almost a week ago, she was baking her cookies, right? I practice over Thanksgiving, so thank you. See, I and they're yummy. I love this. See, that South is Carolina. That Yay. Is Carolina. Southern girl. <gasps> Southern girl, sister. Right. I knew I liked her. I knew I liked her. it was that <laughs> Southern thing, right? It is. It is. So, Carol. Hey. What would you say is a real housewife of Orlando? Like, how would you describe one? Um, a real housewife in Orlando is not a housewife. She's a professional. Come here. She's a professional. <laughs> like, like okay. Carol. Yes. Like Carol. Yes. And if you, get an answer. if you need your eyes checked out, go see Carol. Yay. Lucky, did you get the pictures? I did. Awesome. I did not. No, they're on their way. Okay. Yay. Coming in. I am. Or come that way. Okay. <laughs> so joining me now is my dear friend Jody McNeil. And Jody and I met through work and she's become one of my closest friends. She's like, I call her my British Barbie dog. She's so <laughs> beautiful <laughs> and tall. Look at her. Look at her. And tonight she's not only my British Barbie doll, she's Sparkle Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me, Karen. So Bye. Jody, what did you bring tonight? Because I know you were really stressed out about this whole I cookie was, thing. I don't normally bake, um, and this is brown butter chocolate chip toffee cookie. She makes it even sound so perfect. Brown butter. <laughs> Don't you love the accent? She can make anything sound they amazing. They look bad, but they do taste good. Well, I'm sure they're amazing. So, Jody, we've had a lot of fun together. Always up for adventure. Yep. Made a lot of memories together. You know me really well. What would you say a real housewife of Orlando is? Real housewives of Orlando? Like, what's your... Yeah. What's your <laughs> British version. <laughs> no, but what's your like creed in life? What's my what? What's your creed? What's your motto? Oh my <laughs> What's the word you live? I'll tell you. Yeah, okay. She's a wise shopper. She's always up for fun. And she's like living in the moment, right? Yeah, absolutely, Kara. There you Anything go. You no, that's it. <laughs> Let me go. Get my glass of wine. Love you. Thanks. So joining me now is another high school friend of mine, Tawny Williams. Again, I'm a lucky girl this year because Tawny also joined us. We, we grew up in Baton Rouge, Louisiana together, and we were friends in high school. We were in the same sorority in college. And I'm so lucky because she got transferred to, to Orlando. Orlando. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. It's great to be here. So Tawny, what do you think of Orlando so far? It is very warm. I'm ex really excited about that. I can wear flip-flops year-round, and I love the beach. Well, she came from Colorado, so it's quite a change. It is, it is, but I do miss my sweaters. What do you think of the women so far? Um, I think they're pretty nice. Most of them have been friendly and outgoing and very inclusive, so I like that. So, Tawny, what did you bring tonight for the cookie exchange? I brought some cranberry white chocolate chunk cookies. Cranberry white chocolate chunk they're cookies? I'm <gasps> them for the holidays. 
They're so pretty, too. Oh, thank you. So I know you're kind of new to town. I know you're kind of new to town. But what is your take on a real housewife of Orlando? A real housewife of Orlando? Probably somebody that looks good in their bathing suit year-round. Because you can be in your bathing suit year-round. That's one of the perks or downsides of living in a hot, humid, warm climate, right? That's right. You have to watch what you eat all year-round. <laughs> Tawny is such a sweet soul, and I'm so glad to count her among my friends. And thank you for joining us tonight. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. Right. Thank you. Come on in. So joining me now are two of my close friends. I met them in the industry, and they've become really dear friends. Come on over. <laughs> <laughs> so Tracy DeCreasy and Diane Sorensen. Oh, 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 I messed her up. I messed her up. What'd you bring me? Let me fix it. So I was a little worried tonight because Tracy, who's known for her signature sarcastic wit, was like, oh, I am coming in my robe and hair curlers. And I was like, girl, you're walking the red carpet tonight. I'm cl it's close. It's close. <laughs> she did good. Girl done good. And then she's like, I don't know how to dress like a real housewife. Please. She's so beautiful. And she, all, and I've seen you in your dress out clothes. You look really nice. <laughs> now, Diane, <laughs> Diane is my ultra sophisticated producer, ultra. model. Yes. I mean, there's like nothing this woman, woman. can like cannot do. I'm so proud to know yes. both of these women. So nice, Karen. So, Diane, what'd you bring tonight? I brought a family tradition. They're called toffee squares. I grew up making these every Christmas, and it's an old family recipe. She brought her old family recipe to share delicious. with us. That's awesome. And Tracy, what did you bring? Well, since last year I brought my, my you know, family recipe, and you told me I couldn't do a repeat. No. So I tried no. something different. Yeah. So this year I'm doing the uh, mint chocolate chip because they're green, and they're so cute. I'm loving the accent. Like, what is that? Is that the Jersey oh, Shore? This is my real housewife. Persona. This is what Ed gets every night. He's so lucky. Ed is a lucky guy. Ed, hope you're watching this. What did I tell you? All right, so here's the thought-provoking question, okay. my dear friends. Okay. And we've had a lot of fun together over the years. Yes, so I know you have an answer for I, I this. I've worn the pink mm. hoodie footie with you on camera. That's oh. right, the pink hoodie footie. Should we admit that in public? I, it's out now. <laughs> All right, so Diane, what is your <laughs> motto when it comes to life and being a real housewife of Orlando? You just got to do it for the fun of it and always have an open bottle of wine. Amen. Oh, Sister. Cheers. 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 I didn't know a good trick to get her house. off my wine, <laughs> like, you know, trying to hide it while I was driving. All right, so Tracy, with your funky accent, <laughs> what, what is your philosophy when it comes to life and being a real housewife of Orlando? Mm, I, mm, and being a real housewife? Mm. Of Orlando. Of Orlando. Orlando. I don't know, but my philosophy is always you have to be happy within to make... To have other things from the outside make you happy, you gotta be happy inside. Hey, Amen. And she's happy. And yeah, I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm going in between. I'm gonna talk like Jody. Next. Confucius <laughs> says she's happy. The I don't know. The rule is anytime you get an invite from Karen LeBlanc Ulibari, you say yes. You That's say yes. Awesome. I trained him well. We love her. I trained we him well. <laughs> Mwah. Love, I love you. you. I love you, sweetie. She is I'm so lucky. Real. Karen's awesome. I love you, Karen. Thanks. Sweet. I'm a lucky girl. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. So joining me now is one of my closest friends. Hey, what's up? Krista Knowles. Mm. I love this girl. Hi, babe. <laughs> Always fun. What's up with that? Always has a great sense of humor. <laughs> Mm. All right, so let me tell you a true story. Stop it. Let me tell you a true story about Krista. Krista is literally like, yeah. she's like the blonde version of me. We're like kindred spirits, and I'm really blessed to have her in my life. I really am. I just love her to death, <laughs> even when she's on the sauce. I've got great moral values. <laughs> so Krista, who's a non-baker, by the way. Krista, what did you bring tonight? <sighs> Myself. Let me show you. Will you hold this for me? Yes. <clears throat> I baked it myself. She didn't. She lies. You're so busted. Do you I know. Want me to cook. 
<laughs> okay, I have to tell you about Krista. Krista obviously doesn't bake. I came for the alcohol. She has other talents um, that don't include baking. And I knew that Krista would be the rule breaker tonight. I knew she would be, but that's okay. She brought her treats. Krista is an amazing... Have I got a cat break? <sighs> no, you're... You're good. Krista is an amazing photographer. Now, you can't tell by the looks of her right now, but Krista does some bang up work for With models and actors. <laughs> Seriously, KristaKnowles.com. Um, <laughs> she is an amazing photographer. She takes everyone's pictures in the industry. And I am so I lucky. I can't stop this girl. She's like, hey, just in. And I am she so can sell crap. <laughs> Like a walk to a horse farm. <laughs> because I don't know what I'd do about her. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart, even though she's a drunkard right now, but not really, because she really doesn't drink. I really don't. She's a figure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, love ya. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, can I say one my more thing? Buzzing. She is like a supermodel, and even acting like a drunkard tonight, she's hot. It's almost like I don't want to stand next to her. I wear hours on this hair. She took my makeup part. I made her not come in a scrunchie tonight. That was my rule. Mm. You look like Barbie and I look like Darcy. Do <laughs> you remember Darcy? Love you. Mm. Love you. Have a good time. So joining me now is my dear friend, Sarah Hart. And I've got the best story to tell you about us. We go so far back. Sarah and I have been friends since high school and I was so lucky this year because she moved to Orlando she was trans well her husband was transferred from Alabama and I'm so happy to have one of my home girls here thanks for coming thank you for having me so, I'm excited so Sarah, what do you think of Orlando so far it's grown on me it's not southern um but we're getting used to it oh we have a look yeah it's, it's good southern. yeah yeah we'll bring the southern to orlando sarah is the epitome of the southern bell i'm not kidding you even her email is southern bell she talks <laughs> sounds looks walks the walk of a southern bell she's definitely someone that 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 you all need to get to know so sarah sarah what did you bring tonight i brought turtle imposters Oh my gosh, and these are so cute. She has little stickers printed out. Right? Yes, I can't grab one, but um, yeah, little stickers of turtles dressed in the sa as a Santa. So trust me, they're really cute. She always, she's like a domestic diva. She puts 100% into all these things that she does. So Sarah, I know you're kind of new to Orlando, but yeah. what is your take on a real housewife of Orlando? Oh, Karen, that's hard. Career, fashion entertaining I'd say that pretty much yeah. sums it up and speaking of career look for Sarah because she is now the deputy city clerk for the city of Winter Springs That's right. so if you got business to do over there That's look for you. Sarah <laughs> thank you right, thank you love I see you inside so joining me now is one of my very best friends in the entire world she is literally like my soul sister Cheryl Savage Hey, Karen Ulibarri. Thanks for joining us, Cheryl Savage. Oh, I'm so glad to be here. Thank you for having me. And I just love baking. She not, does it. Not. not. <laughs> She's being really sarcastic yes, right now. And I have my red solo cup, and I, I'm so proud of it. This is really a testament as to what a dear friend Cheryl is. Yes. Because every year, for 10 years, yes. now, yep. she has showed up faithfully to this cookie exchange and baked and bitched and about it the whole cake. time. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to be like this. <laughs> <laughs> so Cheryl, what did you bring this year? Oh wait, let me guess, is it the same thing as last year? Absolutely. Cheryl has her one and only baked treat, but she's perfected it to a science. And, and, I, ha and I haven't burnt it this year either. Oh. Yes, and I used the right paper and everything. That's perfect. Yes, my little, my little toffees, yes. Her little toffees she brings every year. Mm -hmm. Well, Cheryl, I just want you to know what would I do without this girl. I'm not kidding you. And what I do for you, Karen, <laughs> seriously. You love me. Love you. All right, so Cheryl. Charlotte's originally from Jersey, so she gets a little Jersey strong on us sometimes. No. And we have to remind her that she's now an Orlando girl. So, Cheryl, like, what would you say is a real housewife of Orlando? What would I say? Yeah, what, how, what is, who is, what is, how would you describe a real housewife of Orlando? I have no idea. Yes, you, you, you should have given me the, to, the questions beforehand. All right. So I could have prepared well, then, Cheryl. I'm not really sure. Tell um, us hmm. what your creed is. What's your life motto? 
My life motto is... Hmm. Don't say Jersey strong. Um, hmm. Drink, have fun, and then work it off. Amen, sister. This is talking from a woman who runs about seven miles. Smart girl. Five. Oh, okay, five. After a bottle of wine. Yeah. Love you. Love you. She's buff, too. Mwah. Mwah. Okay. Mwah. Thanks for coming. Thanks. I'll see you inside. Okay. <laughs> All right. So joining me next is Nicole Adams. She's another one of my blonde friends. Get over here, Nicole. Nicole is another one of my blonde friends. I have a lot of blonde-headed Barbie doll-looking friends. They're really not good to hang out with in public because they get all the attention. But I love her to death, right. and I'm so glad she's here tonight. Nicole, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. I love this. So, Nicole, what did you bring tonight? I brought black and white cookies. Black and white cookies. That sounds fancy. Mm-hmm. And so what was your experience like getting ready for this? Were you one of those complaining, oh my gosh, got to make the cookies? Or were you like happy to be in the kitchen baking? I um, was just happy to join the party and be with a lot of friends and get to know a good friend. And it's been a good time. Well, I am so glad to count Nicole as one of our friends. She's a lot of fun, a really sweet, down-to-earth girl. Nicole, so you've been in Orlando, too, for a while. Yes. What would you say is a real housewife of Orlando? A real housewife of Orlando is having a beautiful home, great, a great family, great children, raising your family well, wonderful friends, and meeting new friends, and enjoying your time. Thank you, Nicole. She's spoken like a wise woman. All right, I'll see you in the party. Thank you, honey. Mwah. So joining me now is my dear friend, Kim Carr. Kim and I met through mutual friends, and she's become just a really great friend of mine. Kim, come join us. She's so beautiful, and she's such a smart Hi, cookie. Hi. Hello. Kim is a technology recruiter, or headhunter, I should say, and she was actually asked recently to be in a reality show. Yes, this is true. And yes, I'm not going to do it. Ah, oh, Kim, I tried I to coach her. I can't humiliate myself on TV. She is really smart. She's really humble. She really is. But Kim is a sweet, sweet soul and really just a very down-to-earth friend. And I'm very glad to have her here tonight. So, Kim, what Proud did you bake you. for the cookie exchange? Oh, my goodness. It's been a fun week. Yeah? So, I realize I'm not a great baker. I'm a good cook, not a good baker. That's what so they all I did snickerdoodles, and I did some ginger, ginger snaps with the Hershey's Kisses in them. But it took me a few test runs to get it right. Kim did two different types of cookies. Kim, I'm so honored. Thank you. My first cookie party. Hopefully, I'll be invited back. <laughs> All right, so Kim. The last one here. <laughs> she was fashionably late tonight, but that's okay because as you can see, she's very fashionable. Real housewife. So speaking of Real Housewife, Kim, um, how would you describe a Real Housewife of Orlando? A good multitasker that always looks good, always on their game, a good mom, and always a good wife. Oh my goodness, spoken like a true pro. Make it till you make it. That totally, totally defines Kim Carr. Very well put. Bravo. Thank you. Did you rehearse that? Not at all. Could I have a question for you? Okay. What makes you the best Real Housewife of Orlando? All right, well, here's my philosophy. I believe life is short. You got to have fun along the way. So I say, enjoy the ride. And if you want to hang with me, strap in and hang on because it is one wild ride. I like a ride. Roller coaster. Rolling, rolling. Let's go roll. We're going to go join the party with the other Real Housewives of Orlando, but without all the cat fights. Yes. We're good. We're nice. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs>
Melissa, come get a picture with us. Come get a picture.